Sorry we missed an episode. Last week we were a little busy live streaming Brad Pitt and George Clooney the entire world. Meanwhile, there's been a ton of new polling data from around the country, and it's all encouraging. And more bad news for NAM. They're uh, under investigation by the Minnesota Elections Board, and the U.S. Supreme Court has refused to play along with their attempts to hide their donors. And after a brief flurry of activity, efforts to overturn a marriage ban in Ohio appear to have stalled out. I'm Matt Baum with the American Foundation for Equal Rights, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for March 12, 2012. Well, it was a sold-out crowd at the Wilshire Ebell for last week's production of Eight, but the show went global with a live stream on YouTube. A quarter million people tuned in to watch the show live, and since then a half million more have watched. And there are new developments in the case. Last week, lawyers for the plaintiffs asked the Ninth Circuit to deny a rehearing and let a decisive victory stand. In national news, another poll shows increasing national support for the freedom to marry. The latest is from NBC News and The Wall Street Journal and shows us with a 49 to 40 percent advantage. That follows uh, eight other polls over the last two years that show a majority supports the freedom to marry. State polls are also encouraging, with a survey in Maryland showing us with a 54 to 44 percent advantage. Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley signed a marriage bill last week, but anti-gay uh, opponents are likely to force it to referendum. New polls in Maine are still close, with 51 to 41 percent supporting overturning that state's marriage ban. And last week, the U.S. Supreme Court put an end to NAM's attempts to hide its donors in Maine. It's unclear when those donors' identities will finally be released, but it's likely to be before the November elections. In New Jersey, our lead is even stronger, 57 to 37 percent in favor of marriage equality. A new study there shows that marriage equality would bring $119 million to the state. In Iowa, voters favor keeping marriage equality, 56 to 36 percent. And the final survey of the week comes from California, where we have 59 percent support. These numbers are all pretty good, but it's important to keep in mind that surveys aren't the same as votes. None of these states currently have anti-gay campaign ads running, so the polling numbers are likely to change dramatically as we approach November. There's still a lot of work to do. And finally this week, there's been a bump in the road in Ohio. Organizers there had attempted to overturn the state's marriage ban, but this week the Attorney General announced that their measure lacked an adequate description. That means we may have to wait until next year. In the meantime, Equality Ohio will continue its work to promote safe schools and non-discrimination measures. Those are the headlines. Visit us over at marriagenewswatch.com for more on all these stories and more. And visit AFER.org for more on the federal fight to win full marriage equality. I'm Matt Baum with the American Foundation for Equal Rights. We'll see you next week.